Tunauza njugu moto iliyo kaango vizuri. Karibu customer. Tunauza njugu moto iliyo kaango vizuri. Karibu customer. Yes, tunauza njugu moto iliyo kaango vizuri. Karibu customer. Simple and clear. Alafu inacheza all day long. Folks, niko hapa Kaptemboa, alright soko mjinga. Baadhi uh, hapa mbona ilitangwa soko mjinga? Soko mjinga tulipata ikiitwa hivyo lakini wenye wako hapa ndani ni wairefu zaidi. All day long watu wako hapa ni wairefu and here I have this guy here is one of the wairefu people hapa soko anauza njogo. Alafu kuna hiyo mziki yake pale not the muziki but the sound ambayo the whole day inasema tunauza njugu moto iliyo kango vizuri karibu customer this is a famous njugu seller ni muite njugu seller njugu vendor hapa nakuru hapa hivi folks wanatumananga njugu from as far as naivasha msea kuja hapa soko kuja kubai njugu kutoka kwa huyu jamaa hapa tunataka tumjua yani nani alifikaje hapa now let's start right away kaka Tuambie majina zako kwanza tuanzie hapo. Mm, majina ya kazi naitwa Rafiki Fresh Roasted Peanuts. Yeah. Rafiki Fresh Roasted Peanuts. Si ndio hivyo? Aya, sasa Rafiki Fresh pe, nini? Roasted Peanuts. <laughs> Rafiki Fresh Roasted Peanuts. Yes. Uliamua je kuja hapa soko kuuza peanuts hapa na si place nyingine yoyote? Uh, niliona hapa hapa soko ni epicenter Kaptembwa na watu wengi wana circulate around this place yeah na ukajua watu wengi wanapenda njugu uh, nil, nilikuwa nimeanza mwanzo mwanzo nikipimia lakini nikapata eh, inatembea inatembea yeah sasa hadi uko na attire like you look so professional si hati unaamka tu hivyo hii attire uliamua je kuunda attire are you a chef hapo awali ama how did you decide kuunda hii attire jamii uh, mi si chef by the way but niliona tu nikae unique kwa watu ndio at least uh, mtu akikuja kununua njugu anaona huko kitu yenye nauza huko ni kitu yenye iko serious yes. yeah and indeed you are unique so hapa naona 02 za njugu kuna zingine zinakuja uh, kuna nyingi sana karibu safari ya karibu sita hivi tunakaanga kwa siku yeah kwa siku 06 yeah this size this size na safari ya moja inabeba gorogoro ine mm. kwa kila safari ni gorogoro ine mm. yes <laughs> <laughs> Aya. Sasa hizi njugu kaka unatoa wapi? Are you a farmer? Kuna mahali umepanda hizi njugu? Manake so kila siku ideally uko na hizi njugu. Wewe ni mkulima wa njugu ama njugu zenyewe unatoa wapi? Uh, mimi si mkulima si amna. Mimi si mkulima wa njugu. Ila tunatumana njugu kutoka Bagain huko town. Sasa zingine zingine zinaimportiwa kutoka Malawi. Yeah. So zinakuja mbichi. Alafu unakuja ukaanga nina ninakuja mimi na jikaangia mm. yes unakaangia hapa hapa then unauzia hapa hapa ama maybe sasa nyingine una unatoa nyumbani labda unakaanga nyumbani uh, mara nyingi huwa nakarangia hapa yote mm. uh, wateja wakiona ndio wajue kweli yes vitu zenye vinauzwa hapa ni vitu zenye ziko safi yes zenye hazina tasushi yoyote yes kwa afya ya binadamu yes yeah nimesikia pale karibu customer tunauza njugu ah inasema haja Tunauza njugu moto iliyo kaangwa vizuri. Karibu customer. Very nice. Nani aliunda hiyo sauti? Hiyo ni sauti yako ama ni mtu alikuundia? Uh, sauti yenyewe ni ya kwangu nimerejirekodia. Alafu nikaenda nika convert. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you made it very simple. Majina tatu eh, majina tatu peke yake. Yeah. Unajua sikutaka kuweka mambo mingi kwa sababu uh, hapa nina deal na watu wengi. Ai uh, nina deal na watu intelligent na deal na watu wenye wako at least yani kila mtu kwa stage zote ziko hapa hivi kaptembo mm. uh, sasa nilisema mm. niweke kitu yenye iko simple and clear yenye kila mtu ataelewa mm. yeah. so far tubona kuna customer moja umeuzia hiyo umeuzia hiyo ni how much for example hiyo uh, njugu ni nimemuuzia huyu sahi huyo mzee ni 50 shilingi 50 okay yes. kuna wale maybe wanachonga in bulk like kum sana chukua kuna mtu ashaikuja akachukua hata sufuria ya yote sufuria moja mm kila wiki kuna wengine wanakuja wanachukua kama ya 200 kuna wengine wanachukua every saturday ya 500 hivi wakiwa na wageni kuna wengine wanatoka Kiamuni kuna wengine wanatoka Langalanga yeah aya na unafanyanga delivery labda ama bado hiyo ni kitu bado haujaingia hapo 
Uh, nilijaribu kuangalia mambo kuangazia mambo ya kama hayo lakini KRA ndio sasa imenizuia kufanya ku nini ku deliver because wan, maybe wanataka pesa nyingi lakini bado sijafanikiwa kupata. KRA wanataka ulipie ku deliver. Wanataka hiyo nini? Hiyo ikiwe na logo ya Kebs. Oh. Yeah. So tuseme supermarket. Tuseme ukianza patiwa nini order kubwa. Yeah. Let's say kwa super vile umesema sorry na packaging unaweza wapelekea eh nikipewa hiyo order ya ku package ku package na kupeleka super itakuwa ni rahisi kwangu endapo KRA watakuwa wamenikubalia kutumia logo yangu so that ni naweza jimaketia hizi njugu zangu kila mahali Kenya nzima okay. yeah. lakini ile delivery nilikuwa nauliza kuna customer Yes folks so tunaendelea kupata maoni from uh, Rafiki Peanuts <laughs> Rafiki what is this? fresh peanuts Rafiki fresh peanuts and of course they are fresh mnaona zinapikiwa tu hapa hapa I mean uh, I found this to be very very interesting all right and the idea that uh, the guy Mzee amesha anapaka uniform M watu wengi wa njugu ambao unajua eh the many people ambao wanauza njugu even those you know na pata tu ni mse tu anatembea tu vile alikuwa jana ndio yako leo wengine nini for those ambao maybe mmeenda kwa club mahali mko kwa joint mahali mse wa njugu uh, anapita hapo vile alikuwa jana unapata si vile alikuwa leo but this guy nimependa hiyo idea yake ameshona anapaka uniform vitu kama hiyo ameuzi hiyo customer so now wacha tuendelee sasa kaka kupika njugu ni kitu ulijifunza aje unajua si kila mtu anajua kupika njugu huko nje uh, kupika njugu nilionea huko Mwanza Tanzania ambapo niliona jamaa mwingine akifanya hadharani mbele ya watu alikuwa ananyunyisha maji kidogo kwa na chumvi kulingana na kiwango ya njugu alafu anarukisha hadi kauke vizuri ndani ndipo sasa anaanza kuserve wateja yeah aya na hii system yako mbona unaamua kuibeba na na gunia <laughs> system yangu hii naibeba kwa gunia kuitunza tu ndio isivunjike isi kwa sababu ama isizeke isi haraka kwa sababu bado inanisaidia kwa muda mrefu yeah haya kimasomo labda umefikia ulifikia wapi labda kimasomo nimefanya diploma haya yeah. kuna customer mwingine uzie huyo haya uzie customer mwingine <laughs> folks this is really interesting Aha uh, kuja hapa soko kama uko na kuru this guy Rafiki Fresh Peanuts anauza njugu moto iliyo kango vizuri karibu customer his message is very very simple hakuna vitu ya complicate hata mimi am learning this kind of this this level of simplicity from him ore all right so <laughs> customer habari yes karibu njugu moto iliyo kango vizuri Karibu custom. Ah eh? Hapa ni maskan. Yes, very nice. So unasikia hata custom wengine wanasema hapa ndo maskan like lazima wapitie hapa wareguste kila siku. Si ndio hivyo? Yeah. Aya, sasa unaamkanga saa ngapi ndo uanze ku prepare hii kazi? Uh, ni kama saa moja hivi. Saa moja unusu na na na, na, na kuaga hapa. Alafu ninaenda hadi saa tatu unusu asa ikifika saa tatu unutu wanafunga na nimemaliza kazi. Yeah. Aya nilikuwa nakuuliza kimasomo uli wapi labda? Nimefanya diploma. Mm. Diploma in food and nutrition. Yeah. Diploma in food and nutrition. Kwa hivyo tuseme bado ume maintain kwa area yako. Bado nimefocus kwa area yangu. Ni vile uliamua wacha u specialize kwa line ya njugu. Yeah, niliamua ni, ni specialize kwa line ya njugu. Yes. Nione kama at least one day nitatengeneza hadi peanuts. Yes. Yeah. So how long have you been in business? Uh -huh. I think kwa njugu nimekaa for almost three years mm. uh, in this business. Mm. Na imenisaidia kwa mambo mengi sana. Kweli. Yeah. For example, na kutokana na njugu nimenunua kashamba. Uh, enye, na ita ni yangu uh, juu home siku kwa na shamba so injugu at least imen generate around around 250,000 kanunua na shamba ika 50 by 100 yeah.
and that is very good to hear. Na sasa manake unajua there are folks ambao wanaangalianga kama kuuza njugu wanaona ah sasa kuuza njugu ni vitu gani hii. There are folks wanataka pesa mingi mara moja. What can you tell such kind of folks having been in the industry paka imekuwezesha maybe umenunua a plot of land? Uh, kenye mimi nataka kuambia watu uh, sana sana vijana hakuna kazi inakuja kwa uraiti. Lazima ujitolee kabisa ndio barikiwe kwa sababu uh, ukitaka mambo, mambo ya ende haraka <laughs> yale, yale mame, maneno, vitu za haraka huwa inaisha kwa haraka lakini vitu zenye nakuja kwa upole huwa ina, ina take time but uh, itakusaidia kwa baadaye yeah aya sasa kwa uzaji wako maybe mtu sasa umeniambia kuna watu wana order kutoka zuji kiamuni na wapi wapi Maybe now on my channel for those ambao niko na audience mingi sana kutoka Nakuru. Na labda wengine wata watch na wako interested na njugu. Labda unapeananga namba mtu anaweza kupigia maybe umdelivie ama vitu kama hivyo ama they have to come here. Uh, niko na namba naweza peana. Na wale wenye wanachukua hapa huwa wako na namba yangu. Sasa huwa napeana namba. Hiyo namba ndio wanaweza nipata nao. Aya peana namba ya Rafiki Fresh Foods nitaeka pale kwa video. Uh, 07 97 19 65 14 Very nice. Sasa what is the future sasa? Ama your goal sasa kwenda mbele ni gani? Uh, my goal ni kwamba uh, Mungu akisaidia hii kazi ishike zaidi niweze kukuwa na kampuni yangu ya kutengeneza peanut butter. Na niweze kukuwa tena na kampuni yangu ya ku ya ku package hizi manjugu na ku ku deliver kwa supermarkets kwa mini supermarkets at least the whole Kenya at abroad if possible yeah okay that was rafiki fresh peanuts oh rafiki roasted peanuts ama ro fresh rafiki fresh roasted peanuts rafiki fresh roasted peanuts good to see you brother si hata mimi uniakea hapa unjugu za niko nimebakisha coins ngapi hapa Si mtu anaweza lipa na Mpesa? Waacha niende nionje hizi njugu zako nisikie. Buni yake za 50. Eh weka za Oh, sawa sawa. Eh. Hey. Mm. <coughs> yani ko prepared hapo hapo ni unakula hapo. By the way, hakuna kitu interesting. Whether ni kwa hotel. Mahali ambapo unaenda ile chakula unanunua unaona production. There is nothing interesting as that. All right? Mali unaona production ndio hii chakula ndio hii imetoka hapo imekuja. Ah jaza bwana. Hiyo ni kidogo niko na familia kubwa bwana. Eh. Yeah. Kujaza ni mia. Kujaza ni so. Oh ya yeah, jaza. Kuko hapa na Englishman, niko hapa na Englishman wacha amalizie. But usiongee sana. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Collins of Tino, uh, also known as uh, the Kisumu Englishman. God grant him the grace, wisdom, and strength to always recognize the need of customers that he may bring them hope and inspire them to success and uh, greatness. Hey, Njugu Fresh, bro. Really, too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mouth watering, appetizing, luscious, delicious, good. Pagnant repulsive, obnoxious, horrendous, lugubrious, cumbersome, burdensome, awkward, monotonous, some drum boring, stressful, nerve rattling, worrying, preposterous. Good, 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 good. All right, that was Englishman Collins Otieno. I'm an editor of the Kisumu Englishman. So, where hey, Kaka, Rafiki, and the Leana Kazi, Kumbuka Kazi ni Kazi, and the Leana Kazi. Evo, so thank you. Uh, Watch a mimi ni kapeleke wengine wanja njugu yako. Na ndakuwa napitia hapa soko na nachukua hii njugu. Shukran sana. Haya. Unaanza juu moto ndio kaanga nzuri. Karibu customer. Unaanza juu moto ndio kaanga vizuri. Karibu customer. Unaanza juu moto ndio kaanga vizuri. Karibu customer. Unaweza jibu moto, nilio kaangwa vizuri, karibu, customer. 